when I was in Japan in October for the auto show, Honda had a pretty amazing booth. They had a few couple cute concepts, but the Prelude was the big takeaway. They also actually brought in the Prologue, even though it's not being sold in Japan. Uh, but Sony and Honda also had the uh, feel of vehicle there, which felt like production ready. It was a showcase of technology and design, in my opinion. I think it's a gorgeous, unique looking vehicle. The, the materials in the inside were very impressive. Now it looks like Honda might have their own variant of that Afila vehicle being debuted at CES. Let's get into it. <laughs> Honda is debuting an all new global series EV. So it's not just for North America. But here's the thing, Honda makes most of the vehicles here in North America. And like that Afila vehicle from Sony and Honda, that is gonna be built in Ohio, I believe. This is more than likely gonna be on that same assembly line with its own unique design, but probably the underpinnings, the battery, the motors, the inverters, the, the software in some ways, it's gonna be very similar between the two vehicles. So I've been waiting to see what Honda has to show and check this image out. Holy cow, this teaser reminds me of a dust buster from the 90s. And can we adjust the image quality at all? All right, so here's our final image after some processing. Yeah, the front end reminds me of maybe some of the old vans back in the 90s as well. Uh, but with, let's say, if we look at Lexus's newest design with the LFZC, it kind of has a super wedge sort of uh, design, but this is far simpler than all the creases and cuts like the origami style that we see on the Lexus LFZC. This is much more minimal as Honda design is typically very minimal. Um, and check this out. This is just blank. But where is the air going to come in through? Maybe right below it. It's hard to say. Where is the air going to come in through to um, cool off the batteries? You know, the Afila model had active shutters. So my guess is that when this is time for production, this whole area right here is going to be active shutters to either let air in, to cool the radiators, to cool the batteries, or it's just going to close uh, maybe it can individually close those, those uh, shutters as well to just let in just the right amount of air to cool the batteries and then also provide great aerodynamics. Uh, these wheels look actually pretty familiar. I think they they might look fairly similar to some of the Honda concepts that are for the Chinese market. So lots of parallel lines that are interlaced. I think it's unique. If we get anything close to this in the production model, it'd be pretty cool. It's hard to say what's going on over here. I would assume this is a digital side mirror. In North America, those aren't exactly legal. But guys, look how much glass. Look how far the glass comes down. It's essentially right in line uh, with the wheel arch. That is Pretty next generation design language right there. There's not a lot else to say. Like, it's, I think there's also a video here. Let's play that video. I'm not gonna play the sound because the sound might copyright strike me. Then when I'm watching this, it almost reminds me of something Sony would do with the, you know, the, it almost looks like a TV screen that's transparent, just like rotating around. That's all we have. I don't think there's any sort of cryptic styling. Maybe it's just saying, hey, look at the cool LEDs. Oh, you know, maybe, oh, maybe this is a side mirror. That, that could be what I see there. I think it's just way too hard to tell. Let's read it, the press release, see what Honda has to say. An all new global Honda electric vehicle series. Series, I missed that. Okay, series means more than one vehicle. So they're gonna have a lineup with these global EVs. Okay, so obviously you would have a sedan, a crossover and maybe a larger three row crossover. And these will be making its world debut at CES 2024, January 9th, book your calendars, 10.30 a.m. Pacific time. That's 1.30 uh, in the afternoon of my time. I will bring you guys this coverage, not in the flesh because we could have a baby coming at any time at, uh, around January 9th. I won't be there at CES, but I will be giving you guys probably embargoed coverage. Hopefully Honda is able to get this over to me before the embargo ends on the 9th. Okay, so there's also a landing page. There's going to be a live stream. Let me know if you want me to live stream this with you guys. That would be a lot of fun. Of course, like I said, I'll have videos that go up, but I always enjoy doing a live stream and hanging out with you guys. It's been a while since I've done a live stream. Um, all right, there's also that landing page, but let's read 
Toward its global goal to achieve carbon neutrality for all products and corporate activities by 2050, Honda will introduce 30 new EVs globally by 2030 with a global sales volume of 2 million units. In North America, Honda has laid out an aggressive time frame of EV introductions leading to 2030 and ultimately to 100% zero emission automobile sales by 2040, which includes battery electric and fuel cell models. At its booth and through a dedicated CES 2024 website, Honda will showcase the global EV series models and several key technologies that illustrate that significant transformation Honda is currently undergoing. The Honda press conference at CES will be held on January 9th, 2024 with both global CEO Toshihiro Mibe and global EVP director Shinji Aoyama, and they'll speak about Honda's vision for an electrified society and unveil the new global EV series. This is huge. If Toshihiro Mibe is there, which I saw him uh, at the Japan Mobility Show, but if he's there, this is this is a huge uh, undertaking for Honda. This is like pulling off the the drapes, pulling off the uh, curtain, pulling pulling back the curtain, taking off the cover of the future of Honda. Uh, so it's very, very exciting. All right. So over at the landing page, 33 days from now, four hours, 50 minutes and counting, we're going to get this new series lineup. Now, it would be awesome for Honda to also just sprinkle in some of the other models. Let's say there are two, I would assume there are two models there, a sedan and a crossover, right? Because they're calling it a series. So if we get two crossovers, that would be amazing. And what am I expecting? This is on Honda's e-architecture. Honda's e-architecture, other than the Afila model, we have had no inkling of what Honda is doing with it. I mean, you could use your imagination and that's what I'm going to do right now. I wouldn't be surprised if they're using Gigacasting. It will be a 100% dedicated EV platform. You will not see gasoline engines in this e-architecture. Um, and we will be seeing it, I think, in 2025 at the earliest. I know Afila is coming out, I think, uh, 2025, 2026. I always get that time frame messed up. So it's pretty exciting. I'll see you guys down below. What do you want from the Honda Dustbuster EV? I think it's going to be a lot of fun to see. what. Can, I love Honda's design. So I'm really excited to see what kind of futuristic, dedicated EV platform they can shock the world with. So anyways, thank you guys for watching. If you're excited for Honda and Sony too, right? I feel the same E architecture. If you're excited for that, smash the like button. Make sure you subscribe because you do not want to miss my breaking coverage and possibly live stream if you guys are uh, want that of the new uh, Honda electric vehicle. Have a great day.